what were some challenges for me in going through this master class? One of the main challenges for me going through this master class to begin with was the difference between my abilities making music and Joel's. As I watched Joel make music and just talk about music and I saw his studio set up and he began explaining his process, I felt the difference. Like in video game terms, he was a level 1000, a master prestige, an expert at the game and here I am a complete newbie having no idea what I'm doing and I felt a bit hopeless at first. Like why even bother? Why even try? That was one of the biggest challenges getting started with the class and I believe that this is the same challenge most people face. When you see how good Joel is at music production, when you see his studio set up, there's this why bother? Why me? There's this feeling that I don't have anything to contribute. Joel and the people along with him who are already successful making music, they're doing enough. Uh, no one needs my music. That was a huge challenge with this class and in fact, just like most students to begin with, I bailed. I watched a few videos and stopped. I'm like, okay, whatever. Basically, the first thing I got out of the class was that Joel's done a whole lot playing music and there's no point in me even trying. However, I guess the universe had other plans for me because my friends inspired me to keep going, to keep trying. And people on my YouTube channel called me out. They said, hey, where's your music? You said you were going to make music. It's been months. There's nothing. And I'm grateful then once I came back to this master class, I found it had a ton of helpful things for me in it. And I also found that there were a lot of things I could learn from Joel that he's uh, been through like labels. I can learn things from him without having to go through an, the same journey myself to right now up front, forget about ever having a record label. Another challenge that it wasn't too challenging for me, but it might be challenging for you. If you don't like a lot of cussing and dry humor, or crude comments, sometimes rude or disparaging comments, then this that might be a little challenging for you. I translate those things in my head so when Joel goes off on a rant about something or someone, I uh, that doesn't bother me too much. It was a little obnoxious at some points in the class. At some points, I got so distracted with the language, Joel saying F this or F that, and I started laughing. I probably missed a few key points in the class because I get easily distracted by an F word here or an F word there. I'm grateful that Joel was able to honestly communicate in the class if that's how it was easiest for him to talk as it once was easiest for me to talk like that as well. I'm grateful he was able to do that in the class and that they didn't edit all of that out, that they actually left it in there. Finally, the end of the class was a bit challenging for me about electronic music production live because at this point, I just don't picture doing a live show. So a lot of watching the end where it talks about live shows, I thought this is just kind of pointless. I'm not going to do a live show. This is a waste of my time. Still, I got a few helpful tips out of it that for me, I am able to just do my work today and not worry about whether I'm going to do live shows in the future or not. And if people want me to do live shows, I know they'll ask me to do live shows. So I don't need to worry about live shows. It all comes down to just doing, having my fun making music today. And I'm very grateful that I've learned that out of this master class.